I know you've, you're putting a lot of emphasis on job creation, and, and certainly the Internet is a big part in a lot of entrepreneurial endeavors these days. I'm wondering, does the, from your perspective, does the government have any role in increasing the availability of broadband Internet to rural areas? Well, we've done it in the state of Texas, but that's a, uh, that's a state function. I don't think it's a federal function. If, if states want to, uh, I'm a big believer in the Tenth Amendment. The federal government doesn't need to pick winners and losers, not in the energy industry, not in any of our technology. I mean, if, if you needed any other uh, example, uh, past Solyndra and uh, half of, uh, of, of you know, half a billion dollars that went to that particular organization uh, and, and it failed. I mean, that's the type of, of uh, example of Washington centralized decision making that we have to get away from. If South Carolina wants to put into place uh, incentives to have broadband into their, their rural areas, that is their call and, and I, I agree that they should be able to do that. If Texas wants to put a uh, plan to incentivize the energy, alternative energy, we did that and the wind energy, we're the, the most prolific wind energy producing state in the nation. Iowa, if they want to put ethanol uh, into their state legislature's incentive program, that's their call. But Washington and the rest of the country should not be sending billions of dollars to D.C. for them to decide who are going to be winners and losers. Leave it to the states. We will become, the, the states will become the laboratories of innovation. And we need a president that respects the Tenth Amendment and gets Washington out of picking winners and losers.